Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Maddie and welcome back to the next episode in the Cloudcraft series. So, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite recently and I haven't been on the Cloudcraft SMP. So, I thought it would be a fun idea to go around and look at what all of the other members have built in the world while I wasn't here. So, I'm really looking forward to this. I know some people have built some absolutely crazy stuff. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I guess uh, we'll start out with my little village that I've been working on as well as Punisher stuff since that makes the most sense. I think we should also go in like chronological order of how the builds or when the builds have been built because I, I really want to show you the cool stuff first but I think we should start with what was built first. So for those of you that are new you may have not seen our very first house that we built, which would, by the way, if you are interested in catching up on all of the videos in the Cloudcraft series, they're all uploaded here to my YouTube channel, so I would definitely recommend checking those out. But this is the little, you know, very typical beginner house that Punisher, my uh, my teammate, my alliance Punisher, we built on the very first day of the Cloudcraft series. So again, it's nothing, nothing complicated. Uh, we had to go with some pretty basic materials, which are cobblestone, oak wood, <laughs> oak logs, you know, nothing crazy. So when you first enter the building, uh, this was my old bedroom. Can we please go to F in the comment section for my old bedroom? It makes me kind of sad, honestly. <laughs> that SMP is less than two months old, but it just makes me a little bit sad coming and looking at our, my old bedroom. So next up here was Punisher's bedroom, which now this is the only remains is a single dirt block instead of Punisher's bed. <laughs> And that's it for the first floor. And then when you go to the second floor, this was our very first storage room. It's nothing crazy. And honestly, now it looks absolutely horrible. Like, see, you look at blocks, there's gunpowder. <laughs> I don't know, everything is all messed up. But it is looking a little bit crazy up here. But yeah, this was our very first storage room as well as our very first enchanting table, which as you can see, I left a little sign for our good friend Dylan because I realized he was using my enchanting table <laughs> for free. So we, we left this as a joke, but this was for Dylan. So when you go into the basement, the one crazy thing about this house is actually a secret villager trading hall so you walk right here through the painting this is an og trick you know i know these days a lot of people build those redstone doors like this the secret hidden rooms and all that but this back in my day when i used to play like minecraft pocket Edif edition minecraft on xbox 360 this is how we made secret rooms with just a door and a painting so when you go down into the basement we have the entrance to the villager trading hall and we have every enchantment that you could ever need for the most part, maybe missing a couple. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much every single treatment that you could ever need down here in the villager trading hall. So we have Fortune 3, we have Mending, we have a few different villagers, such as a Fletcher and a Farmer that we can trade for emeralds, a very, very easy and efficient way to get a bunch of emeralds. It goes pretty far back. Here is the little uh, nursery <laughs> where you flip this little switch and they start making the magic happen in here. Maybe? Are they gonna do it? I don't know. Maybe there's not enough beds in here. More carrots, more carrots. There might not be enough beds for them, honestly. Did somebody steal my beds? I could have sworn there was beds over there. I was hoping that we could have an example of the <laughs> baby making, but apparently not. Um, so when you go all the way to the back of the villager trading hall, we have this little room, which is my sub wall, which I'm not gonna lie, guys. I started to forget about this. I feel really bad. I definitely have to go back and... Um, make a list of everybody that I forgot to put on the the mad enough sub wall of fame But essentially if you're a new tier 1 or tier 2 or a twitch prime sub you get your name up on the wall with an oak sign Or these ones I think are spruce I have to switch these because I ran out of oak signs if you gift five or more subs at one time you get a little blue sign here and then if you are a new first month tier three subscriber then you get a pink sign which we don't have anybody with a pink sign yet but that would be the pink sign but yeah so that's it for this room down here pretty basic so that is pretty much it for our little beginner house i'm not gonna lie guys I, this is the exact house that i build at the beginning of every single minecraft survival world it's like almost identical i always build this one so the next thing that Punisher and I decided to build, I think to build on, on day number two or three, I want to say, is this little greenhouse. And let me say, guys, this is the only Minecraft build of mine that I followed a an already built Minecraft structure. To kind of explain what I mean by that is with all of the other builds in, in my 
um, in my little village in the Cloudcraft SMP, I either came up with the idea completely on my own without any like inspiration, or I used a picture of a real life building as inspiration because I, I really, it's difficult to build something in Minecraft without having a little bit of guidance, a little bit of inspiration, especially when it comes down to the dimensions and trying to figure out how to make it look good and to be practical. Um, because you know, I'm not a graphic designer, I'm not an architect, I'm not a home builder. I don't know how to come up with like very good dimensions. So it is nice to have a little bit of guidance, but I realized that I didn't want to copy already built Minecraft structures that somebody else already made in Minecraft. Um, because I really want my content in the Cloudcraft SMP to be unique, to be original to me, and something that you guys haven't seen before, you know, it's so easy. You could go on Minecraft and look up a tutorial for anything. I'm sure for everything you could possibly think of, there'd be an amazing, super detailed tutorial on YouTube, but I didn't want to do that, you know. Um, my builds may not be the best, <laughs> but I really wanted them to be unique. So this is the only build that we followed a picture of something that someone else had already built in Minecraft. Uh, and then I quickly realized I didn't want to do that, but this is just a little a little greenhouse that we built. It's uh, nothing crazy, just a little one. Uh, so next up, I think what I built on, I don't know what day it was. It was pretty early on in the SMP, but I decided to build this giant cylindrical structure that functions as a greenhouse. So again, this is something that I completely just came up with one night. I was like obsessed with Minecraft, streaming it and playing it like 10, 11 hours a day. I was like so, so, so obsessed. And I was like laying in bed one night and I was like, you know what would be awesome? Like a giant cylinder that's a greenhouse that has a spiral staircase that wraps around the outside. So I decided to build this in like the first week or two of the Minecraft, the Cloudcraft SMP. So on the first layer is wheat. On the second layer is carrots. The third layer is potatoes. And last but not least, the final layer is pumpkins and melons. And something else that I think is really cool about this greenhouse is that it's so massive that you can get up here and you can see pretty far in the, the SMP, which is awesome. You know, you can see my whole village, you can see Punisher's Eiffel Tower, you can see a little bit of the doge over here at spawn that Orba built. I just think it's pretty cool. You know, it's nice to have some of these massive structures, even though they're not super practical or super functional. They're just really cool, a little bit flashy. You know, it's just nice to have them in your in your village. Next up is our little bookstore. So again, I built this pretty early on. This is my first shop that I've ever built in my Minecraft career. This is the first time I've ever joined an SMP. And I thought it'd be a fun idea to build a bookstore since I, to my knowledge, was the only one in the beginning that had a villager trading hall. So I was the only one with very easy access to um, enchanted books and all of that good stuff. So uh, it says now open, there's um, I use stone bricks, regular brick, and some dark oak, as well as some quartz on the side. And when you go inside, uh, it's just all the books that are for sale. Mending, Unbreaking, Fortune, Protection 4, pretty much every enchantment that you would need. And it looks like I'm actually doing pretty good! <laughs> we got some easy diamonds here, just from selling some books. It's, it's some pretty easy work, you know? It doesn't take a, a while to get all of those emeralds, especially since I've been working on getting, um zombie villagers and turning them back into regular villagers so that the books will all be only one emerald which is huge so i can stock up like crazy in my bookstore and then get some easy easy diamonds across the street is the airbnb that i built i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the episode and all the drama <laughs> surrounding this airbnb but it's supposed to function as an actual airbnb so any new server members that come in can pay me some diamonds on credit so obviously they're not gonna have diamonds when they first get into the smp but um on credit they can stay here use some diamond gear use some diamond tools uh they get some uh i almost like carrots <laughs> some chicken that they can eat as well that they don't have to return um, and then once they end up getting diamonds, it's usually within a seven day, seven real life day time frame. Then they pay me back the diamonds. Um, but it's a nice little way, a little boost, you know, to get started here in the SMP since uh, it's really tough to get going. You know, if you don't have food, you don't have shelter, you don't have any tools, that can honestly be the most difficult time period in Minecraft when you're just trying to get yourself established at the beginning of the survival world. So I thought having a, a little uh, Airbnb would be really cool and would be a lot of fun. But I, I really like this. I'm super happy with how this, uh, this building turned out. So next up is my second home that I built. In case you guys didn't know, my Alliance Punisher and I, we started to have a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, of tension because I was putting in a lot of hours getting a lot of food and he was using a lot of the supplies and I felt like he wasn't contributing enough so I was like you know what I'm just gonna move out and I'm gonna build a new house so we had a little little bit of beef for a little bit but that resulted in this build which I actually love a lot of people were commenting on how they liked the more modern looking houses better but I'm not gonna lie something about this build I just think is really satisfying I just I don't know I really like it I just feel like it's very 
very cute very like it just I, I don't even know how to explain it i just really really like this one so here's the garage which also functions as a tool room little workshop we have um not a ton of tools this is more for just like aesthetic rather than being practical uh here's a little sitting area dining or uh, living room whatever you want to call it here is the kitchen little dining room not gonna lie i didn't have a ton of space and i couldn't figure out where to put the dining table <laughs> so i just stuck it in the corner and don't pay any attention to my animals i was doing raids i didn't want them to die so we just stuck those bad boys in the corner here when you go upstairs uh i haven't put anything here yet but there's probably gonna be like bookshelves an aquarium a little sitting room and last but not least is my bedroom we have a little fireplace uh, all my pet parrots <laughs> and our bed when you go into the basement this is the start of my storage room so we have the very first room and keep in mind a lot of you might say maddie why do you have a whole double chest for one stack of pork chops <laughs> i was like listen guys let me tell you i usually build smaller storage rooms and they end up getting so cramped i run out of space i have to expand and i end up just everything gets so unorganized so i was like you know what i might as well just full send it i'm planning on playing on this smp for months and months and months and months so i want all my stuff to be really organized so i figured i would just full send it and give everything its own individual double chest so that's what we did even though there's some chests that only have one stack of something so far uh, i plan on adding more to that in the future so that's why we have everything in its own separate chest we also have our enchanted apple here which by the way you guys might have noticed in the very first episode i found this enchanted apple <laughs> and i didn't really react but that's because i'm like 99 percent sure back when i used to play minecraft on pocket edition on xbox 360 you could make these am i wrong somebody correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong about this but you used to be able to make these apples so when i saw it i was like eh, like cool i thought it was like nice like cool but it wasn't anything amazing until i realized now in minecraft you can't make these golden enchanted apples so sorry about that i should have been a lot more stoked than i actually was because i thought you could still make them but i was wrong <laughs> Um, as you can see here, we also have over a hundred nether ingots to contribute to the netherite race, which I'm super excited about. Definitely got to keep grinding for that, but we're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. When you turn off to the left, we have our more practical workshop, little, I don't even know what you want to call this workshop. <laughs> uh, just because as you can see, the workshop in the first floor of my house looked really nice. But you can't only have two furnaces. It's just not practical. I ended up spending so much time just smelting ores and stuff. So I ended up building this room and it doesn't look as nice, but uh, it's a lot more, a lot more efficient. So that is the little workshop. Here is a room that I added on to my storage room because I quickly realized that I did not have enough chests. So everything that I forgot about, like TNT, <laughs> berries, um, CDs, discs. I call these CDs, but I think they're actually music discs. I'm, I've been saying the wrong thing this entire time. But yeah, I ended up expanding down here just because we quickly, very quickly ran out of space. Uh, here I have a little door and a lever because this is the beginning of my subway station. But yeah, there's a bunch of mobs that can spawn here. So just to be safe, I don't want to be AFK in my house and have a creeper blow up. So I ended up putting a little trap door and then a iron door up there just so no mobs could get into my house. And so this is the beginning of the subway station. Um, I could show you guys, but I'm sure you all know what a subway looks like. But this goes to Punisher's house. This is the Ducky's house, but I just have not finished it yet. <laughs> uh, just another project that we definitely have to finish pretty soon. Here is what leads up to my mansion, which we will get there momentarily. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to have the mansion... Um, I wanted it to have a staircase that went down to the storage room since I spent pretty much equal time in both of these buildings. It was kind of annoying to go from my mansion to my little like wood house to go all the way down to the storage room. So I was like, you know what? I might as well connect them with a staircase uh, that leads to the storage room. So that's what we did here. And last one at least, okay, there's some mobs in there. <laughs> Last one at least, that's going to be a little secret project that we're working on in the future. I just haven't done it yet, but I promise I will definitely work on that pretty soon. So next up on the Cloudcraft SMP tour is this little greenhouse that I... Greenhouse? What the... <laughs> bakery. This cute little bakery that I built. So here there's not too much to show. Um, this is more so just a little small, a small little build, you know, nothing crazy, nothing flashy, but just a cute little build. So we have, uh, golden apples for sale. We have sugar, cake, pumpkin pies, cookies, and bread. Okay, it looks like somebody stole some bread from me because there is an uneven amount of bread. It is one stack for two diamonds. So how do we have 55 bread in here? <laughs> who is stealing from me but yeah i think this one's just really small and cute but it's it's nothing nothing crazy but one thing that i'm super proud of is these string lights if you guys want to make these it's just a chain with a lantern i just had this idea this is nothing that i saw on tiktok you know sometimes it's difficult to not 
take inspiration from all of the content because I watch so much TikTok. I watch a lot of Twitch, a lot of YouTube. And so uh, it's very easy to get ideas from other people, but I came up with this on my own and I thought it was really, really, really cute. I like it. Uh, so next we're gonna skip this one because this is my newest build that a lot of you haven't seen yet But this you guys may have seen in the thumbnails of a few of the other Cloudcraft SMP members But I built this all on my own, you know, I was watching their content I try to support everybody in the Cloudcraft SMP and I watch their streams I watch their YouTube videos and I was watching they're like wow She built all this on her own and then someone else was like, oh no Like I think she's had her little brother help her and I was like no I built it all on my own. It was all me <laughs> But yeah, all of this was built by myself, only myself. My, like I said, in the beginner house that we built on the first day, Punisher did help me, but everything else was built by by yours truly. Um, so yeah, this is a mansion that I built that I actually used um, a picture of a real life mansion as inspiration, and I tried to uh, replicate it here in Minecraft, and I actually think it turned out really, really, really good. So I'll give you a quick little glance at the exterior of the building. I love it. I'm gonna see, it took so long. I think this probably took like 14 hours total for just like the basic exterior and interior. And the decorating took even longer. It definitely, it took between like 11 and like 14 hours for the exterior. It's hard to say because I carried it over over like two, three different streams, maybe four different streams. So yeah, the exterior is made out of deep slate and white concrete. And then I also use a lot of quartz on the interior. So this is the garage. It is not functional, unfortunately, but there's a, what? One, two, three, four, five car garage. So as you first enter the mansion, I added a lot of details, probably since the last time you guys have seen this mansion, but uh, we'll start here on the right, which is the library. We have a little desk with a chair that has armrests, an armor stand per usual. I like to add armor everywhere in the armor stands just because I feel like they look really cool. It just makes, it makes the room look nicer, I think, in my opinion. Um, we have a little lectern, just some bookshelves, uh, just your pretty typical library. Um, here we have a balcony, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> between you and i youtube i actually messed this up <laughs> and i just didn't feel like fixing it i was like you know what this is fine it's supposed to you're supposed to be able to look over it like this uh similar to how all of the other balconies on this house are but i messed it up and i was like eh, it's okay i'm just gonna leave it uh so next up is the dining room i added um a little stove here how i did this is i use a blast furnace with a campfire underneath to make that little smoke effect so it actually looks like it's cooking the food i use barrels as the um cabinets and again i actually did take inspiration for the kitchen builds as well as like some other interior stuff from um, my viewer in my community realm, uh, his name is Fizz, and he built a lot of super, super cool stuff. Um, so some of this kitchen stuff, I did take inspiration from him because he had an amazing kitchen. It looked awesome. Uh, here's a dining room. I'm not going to lie. The day, it's like a little bit cramped. <laughs> Everybody's got a steak dinner, but their chairs are backed up to the wall And if you want to get to the other side of the room, you have to stomp all over the steak dinners, but that's okay <laughs> um, But yeah, I I think it's pretty good even though it's a little bit cramped I, I like how the dining room turned out next up. We have the living room I decided to add some green accent walls just because I feel like it was kind of lacking Everything was just white and although I do like white I think white is simplistic. It's modern. It looks very nice and tasteful It was like a little bit too much white So I decided to go back and add some green accent walls here and there and I think it definitely really elevated the, the look of the room. I think it looks a lot nicer now. Um, so something else that I tried to uh, do as well as add a lot of decoration. We have some picture or some like frames, uh, what's it called? Item frames with different items in them to, to be decoration on the walls. As always, we have bookshelves. We have little side tables, paintings, all that good stuff. Oh, and also the head. I got a head from the end, the <laughs> dragon head. Dragon head, is that a dragon? Yeah, dragon head. Um, I thought that would just look awesome here for some reason. So I decided to put that there as well. I guess I'll show you guys the basement first before we get to the second floor. So this is a basement. Uh, this is not really anything yet, just leads to the outdoors. This is the laundry room, which I absolutely love. I'm not gonna lie, I think the laundry room might be my favorite room in the entire house. I don't know, I just feel like this screams laundry room vibes, and I also absolutely love glazed terracotta, which also, guys, I do know that if you place the terracotta properly, it makes a pattern, but I didn't do that, and I'm too lazy to fix it, but if you do place the terracotta in a certain way, it'll make a big pattern, which I did not do. Here we have the orange room, which is also not finished. I tried to go with a color theme for every bedroom in this mansion, and this one is the orange room, but I just haven't finished it yet. But it's gonna be orange glazed terracotta, as well as this striped 
orange accent wall and then a lot of like orange decoration as well in this room um this is what i was telling or mentioning to you guys earlier or pointing out i guess to you guys earlier it's this little staircase oh here we have a lovely zombie but it's uh, the staircase that goes down to my storage room so again we just have a lot of decoration i use half slabs paintings item frames and it goes down to my storage room next up in the mansion on the second floor, we have an aquarium off this little hallway and a bathroom. The bathroom is a little bit questionable. I feel like it probably could have been better if I invested a little bit more time in it and if I also had a little bit more space. But these are lodestones using netherite ingots. And we also have these banners, which are supposed to resemble mirrors. <laughs> this is the shower. This is the toilet, I guess. <laughs> Gotta jump up on the toilet. <laughs> And then this is the bedroom that's connected, which is the blue room, which I'm not gonna lie, is probably my favorite bedroom I've ever built in Minecraft history. I don't know why, I just absolutely love this room. Here we have the pink bedroom. So again, color theme. This one has a walk-in closet with some pink clothing, has a lot of pink decoration, like the pink horse armor, flowers, um, and some more pink clothing. And this room actually has a little balcony, which looks off into the rest of my village, kind of, and this open space that I haven't built yet. <laughs> on yet and last but not least in the mansion is this little room which is kind of going to be like a game room media room area and also we have this special wall of fame for anybody that gives 50 or more subs on my twitch channel at one time they get their own plaque with their own like statue so it's an armor stand with just diamond armor on it but it's supposed to resemble like a statue um in honor of those people that uh showed an enormous amount of support over on my twitch channel so um we have two people here now but that's that's basically what this room is at the moment i'm probably gonna add some sort of gaming setup maybe if i could do that like maybe in the corner here i don't know it's a little bit cramped so i don't know if we're gonna do too much stuff but we'll definitely add a little bit more a little bit more in the future then here's the balcony again this house has a ton of balconies uh before we leave the mansion house i guess i'll show you really quick the backyard little outdoor area we have a pool a little fireplace i'm also gonna add a grill as well i might add the grill either right here or over here and then i use the blue glazed terracotta down here as the floor of the pool and that is it for the mansion and the last thing that i built in my little village which i have not made a youtube video on yet so this is the first time you guys on youtube will be seeing this but this is supposed to be like a mixed use development so essentially the bottom is a store and then the top is studio apartment so every floor is its own studio apartment the bottom is actually it's supposed to be like a boutique it's a clothing store so you can buy diamond armor you can buy leather clothing like leather armor and um i don't know if i'm gonna add gold armor i probably won't do that but maybe i'll add like something else maybe enchanted armor in the future so yeah nobody unfortunately nobody has bought anything yet so you guys are gonna have to comment on everyone else in the cloudcraft smp's videos and say hey you guys gotta check out maddie's clothing store she hasn't sold anything yet <laughs> i really i want to sell something nobody's bought anything from me and unfortunately i kind of messed this build up a little bit we're gonna have to brainstorm here to figure out how to make this work but i'm going to somehow add a staircase that will go to each apartment because as of now unfortunately you can't go up there otherwise i would show you but yeah i think i'm gonna add it in between and then there's gonna be another apartment building right here i think that's probably what will work the best but i just haven't done that yet but yeah that's pretty much it i guess less than at least we do have a couple little details um for decoration just to add a little bit more to make my village look nicer like we have street signs here this is stardust lane and then this is sunflower drive right here and i've also been working on adding little things like um plants trees uh benches sidewalks street lights and all of that good stuff. So that is it for everything that I've built in my little village here in the Cloudcraft SMP. So next up, I'm gonna show you what my teammate Punisher has built. So here, right off of my little village, we have Punisher's build. So once we decided to go our separate ways and we both moved out of our beginner house, I built my little brown house over there out of dark oak and he decided to full send it and build the Eiffel Tower in Minecraft. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a, I was a little bit scared at first. <laughs> Punisher is pretty new to Minecraft and he's never really built anything before. And so I was nervous. I did not know how it was gonna turn out. And I was like, oh no, he's gonna be, it's gonna be so ugly next to my village, but I am not gonna lie. It looks incredible. I'm so impressed. 
So this is actually what he's gonna live in, which I think is awesome. You know, he took a more unique approach on a house to live in. So he has his little workshop area, it looks like. He has uh, some storage, his bed, and I think there's also a staircase. Yeah, that goes up to the next floor. Looks like he's not done yet, but he's probably gonna work on this in the future. But I am not gonna lie, this is insane. I really, really, really like it. I like it a lot, pun. I'll admit, it's pretty nice. I was scared. Oh, and lastly, this is a super smelter, which <laughs> I don't know. This is, it's exactly what it says it is. It's supposed to smelt things quicker. Um, don't tell him, but I may or may not be a little bit of an eyesore, <laughs> especially with this cobblestone. But it's, at least it's, it's very, very practical, you know, has a good purpose. All right, you guys. So next up on the tour, I am going to take you guys over to our spawn, which is located at the coordinates zero zero as we head over to spawn you see this massive doge and this was built by the one and only phase orba i don't know if he posted a youtube video of it definitely let me know in the comment section down below guys if orba has a video of this because this is incredible i'm not gonna lie i saw this for the first time when i wasn't streaming and i was just grinding the netherite race off stream and my jaw dropped <laughs> I came up to spawn, saw this massive doge, and I was shocked. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft before. And I just think it's, it's absolutely insane. He did an amazing job. I don't know if he used a tutorial for this, or if he just winged it. Wung it? Wung it? Winged it? <laughs> but either way, it looks amazing. I really, really, really like it. <gasps> Ooh, I think Miss Fickle finished her potion shop. We also have Riss's pet store. It's called Cloutcraft Pet Supply Puss by Riss. Yeah, I think this is so cute. She did such a good job. We have the paw print here inside. All of the cats and the dogs that you can adopt. I'm gonna adopt one. How much are they? Five diamonds? I think I'm gonna adopt one. Give Riss some, some business in her pet store. Yeah, I think this is so cute. She did such a good job on this. And also the little doggies outside. So cute. Here is a store called Patty Mart. <laughs> Maddie and Pun shop, but we just never ended up finishing this. this is, Punisher built this, I think, within the first week of the Cloudcraft SMP existing, but we just never finished it or added anything to it. But yeah, you guys gotta get on Pun's case and be like, listen, Pun, you gotta add some stuff to Patty Mart. It's lacking. <laughs> gotta sell some goods. Sell the goods to the Cloudcraft SMP. This build, I believe, is by Ducky and Miss Pickle, and it is a bull shop. And again, when I saw this, my jaw dropped. I think this is so cute. I just love things that are animals, like the doge, the sheep as the wool shop. Genius. Genius. And this man, Ducky, also has to restock. Oh, let's go. He actually he added a bunch. How much is it? Five? I might buy some more wool. Is it five diamonds? Yeah, five diamonds per stack. So let's see. We're going to give Ducky some business here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take two stacks of wool. Okay, nice. Love that. This is so cool. I think this looks amazing. And he also has the, what is it called? Jed? Jeb? <laughs> what is the name tag that you get the sheep to make it change colors? Does anybody know? Yeah, also can't forget the ATM. Everybody's, this is genius. ATM. Everyone stores their diamonds here. This is so genius. Oh, Jeb? Oh, Jeb underscore. We got the little Jeb underscore sheep at the top. Which I'm not gonna lie, I might have to kidnap Jeb and see if Ducky notices one day because I feel sorry for him. Come on, Ducky. At least give this man a grass of block. Block of grass. He's hungry. He's starving. Let him free. But across the street, we have the little boxing ring, which if you guys watch my Cloudcraft YouTube videos, you already know what this was used for. If not, I would definitely recommend checking out um, the episode where two new members join. Um, it's pretty recent, uploaded to my YouTube video. It was a good one. I would definitely, definitely recommend checking that out. Here we have Dylan's coal shop, which I heard he restocked. I just heard from a little bird that he may have restocked. Yes, I'm going to buy all of this. Two stacks of coal, one diamond. Guys, do not tell Dylan, but he really needs to increase his prices. Oh, wait, it's two stacks for one diamond. Two stacks for one diamond? Wait, he only has three stacks in there. I just gave him extra diamonds. Two stacks, one diamond. That is absolutely insane. But yeah, this is also really cool. I think this build looks super, super, super cool. It's very fitting, you know, potion shop, wool shop, coal shop. Like, it just looks really good. It looks very, very, very fitting. So I have not seen this yet. I'm so excited. This is Miss Pickle's potion shop we're on the side is a little potion like the glass Mwah, chef's kiss this looks incredible let's see miss pickles potion shop enter at own risk oh gosh <gasps> wow see this is <gasps> lava this is awesome this looks so good fire resistance two diamonds each fire resistance oh that's a lot of fire resistance speed potion potion of invincible 
Oh, 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 invisibility. I thought this was invincibility. I was like, invincibility? What in the world? Potions of healing, potions of weakness. Nice. This looks so good. This is amazing. I love this. She did such a good job on this. Love that. Also, I love how she used different colored glass. So we have like the purple and white glass for the potion bottle. And then we also have the black glass here. It just looks like it's very perfect and so fitting for being a potion shop. It looks so cool. Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Uh, so next up we have, we have the netherite race leaderboard. So here we have the blue team, which in case you guys have not caught up, we are doing a team netherite race. So we have blue team where Ducky was a team captain, which is Kazify, Riss, Orba, Sid, Golden, Autumn, Miss Pickle, and Milo. And then on the red team, we have me, which I was the team captain for team red. So we have Cute Kizavir, which is my little brother. He is 83, <laughs> but we have Luffler, Dylan, Bonsai Brothers, Punisher, and uh, Bewitching, Amber. So let's see who's winning. Our team has 206, and this team has, ooh, pretty close. This team has like close to 200. 212? What was this team? So are they winning? I think Blue Team might be winning. But no worries, team. I haven't... This is... I got 100 netherite ingots in one day. So if we need to grind a little bit more, you know, your girl mad enough will put in the work. These... I only did one day of netherite mining. And we got a bunch. So here we have Ducky's little food truck, which is super cool. Again, this is like one of those builds that just looks perfect. You know, you ever build something in Minecraft and at first you're like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna look good. And then you finish and it just looks amazing. It's perfect. That's how I feel about Ducky's food truck. I just think it looks so good. But yeah, I think it looks really, really, really good. So in his food truck, you can buy uh, chicken and steak, but he's out of stock right now. It's, very, it's just like, it's small, but it's perfect. You know, it's exactly how it should be. It looks like very realistic. And we also have Ducky's wood store which you guys know again if you've seen the episode that also involved this boxing ring then you know what happened to ducky's wood shop it did not end well unfortunately but let's see if ducky restocked i think i don't know if he rebuilt this or if miss pickle rebuilt this but I, i'm not gonna lie i think ducky hasn't restocked his wood shop since the incident you guys know comment down below if you know what the incident is but yeah it looks really good it looked good before and it also looks good it's a little bit different after it was rebuilt but <laughs> i still think it looks really 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 good so that is it for spawn guys comment down below and let us know if there's anything else you think we should build at spawn it's still a work in progress we're all been grinding uh, we plan on playing the server for a long 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 time so let us know in the comment section down below what you think we should build over here at spawn uh so with that that being said, I guess it would make the most sense to go over to Dylan's house because Dylan decided to build very close to spawn. He's super, super, super close to spawn. So let's see, where do you enter Dylan's house? I think there's a staircase. I've been here one time before, so I think... Ah, uh, right here is the entryway. Looks like... Who did he steal cows from? I watched one of his YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure he stole some cows. Who was it? Do you guys know who it was? Let's see, when you enter his house... Ooh, he's got some diamond blocks up here. Has a little balcony. This looks nice. A little storage room that he's been working on. And I believe Dylan has a secret underwater base. Let's see, how do we get in here? I saw him build this. Let's see if I can figure out how to get down here. So there's a staircase over there. Oh, here's a gate right here as well. So go in right here and it looks like, oh, it's right here. So this is genius. Basically what he did is he went underground and found a little pool of water and used uh, signs to prevent the water from leaking into this underground build. So if you haven't seen his YouTube videos, you wouldn't even know that this existed. And I think this is so genius. I've never seen this done before. Really, really, really cool. And this looks nice. I love the, what is this? Oak or dark oak? I can't even tell. I think it's oak. It looks so good. The oak logs with the oak planks. Oh, zero ancient debris. You know, let me tell you something, YouTube. This video is already getting a little bit long, but I picked Dylan second for red team. I was a team captain and I asked you guys in my community tab of my YouTube channel. I said, guys, if I happen to be a team captain for the netherite race, who should I pick for my team? And so many people said, Maddie, pick Dylan. He'll grind. He's awesome. So I took your guys' word for it and I picked Dylan. And now I think we're over 20 days into the netherite race and he has zero zero 
<laughs> so you guys gotta get on this case. Go over to his YouTube channel and say, Dylan, grind for the red team. You gotta help with the netherite race. He's slacking. Unless he has some some netherite ingots somewhere. It's looking like he's got zero. So hopefully, hopefully this man Dylan will step it up a little bit. Let's see. He has ooh, an enchanting room. This looks awesome. This is really cool. I like that he has an like a little dedicated room for each thing. It's like his storage room. Enchanting uh, table room. Is there anything else down here? Looks like it's still a work in progress. He's putting uh, wood along the walls of this. Is there anything else down here? Looks like he has a, his own little cave built into this. He went all the way down to bedrock. Holy crap. Looks like he's strip mining right here. I'm level 12. Interesting. Oh, is in his ender chest? Does he actually have some? Please tell me he has some. Does he have some? Some nether ingots? All right, YouTube. So I think that is it for Dylan's house. Uh, unless he has something that we don't know about. So now we're going to go ahead and head over to Ducky the Gamer's house and see what he's been working on. And now we are approaching Ducky the Gamer's builds. So this is going to take me a little bit to figure out where everything is. I think he's built on multiple different plots of land so i know his main house is up here he's also built some farms and stuff he has a chicken farm i think i believe he has an xp farm as well i believe this is also his so i think this is what he built on the first day he has oh there's lava there what if i just fell into the lava <laughs> oh my goodness he has a little uh mine that goes down so that he can strip mine i guess the staircase that goes down to his mine makes more sense um his nether portal Let's see, let me get back on my boat. Looks like there's not too much over on this island. I think most of his builds are probably here on this mountain. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get out right here because I think this is where most of his builds are. Ooh, nice. I've not seen this yet. So it looks like this is the storage room. Oh, wow. I wish someone on a red team would give us gifts. That's crazy. This looks nice. Looks like he used a little bit of basalt, a little bit of quartz. This looks really good. Ooh, he has an elevator too. Ow, that's the down one. <laughs> this is the up one. <gasps> Ooh, nice. This is his sub wall. This is probably his sub wall. Hey, are these his? Is this guy his? <laughs> is this his or is he just in here coincidentally? Why has he got chickens in there? This looks nice. I really like this. <gasps> oh yeah i think i saw ducky talking about this i think this is supposed to resemble like a natural geode uh that's just kind of in the cave or in the mountain that he's building in that's really cool it looks awesome he's got a little bed an oxalato is this the oxalato that punisher stole <laughs> That's so funny. And that's it. Is that it for his house? I think, I don't know if there's more in the basement. It's tough. See, this is why it's so easy to talk about my own builds, but it's like tough to say things about other people's builds because I don't know if there's anything else. Okay, let's see. He has his enchanting table right here. Potions. He's got lava behind the wall. Maybe he, where's, I know he has villagers. Where are they? I know this man has more stuff. I don't know where it is though. So we're going to have to go searching for it. Let me grab my boat with that with me. Let's see. Oh, did we go in this wood house yet? I don't think we went into this wood house yet. Let's check that out. Ooh. Oh, here they are. Marvin. Let's see. Yeah, Fletcher, 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 and Mending. Nice. 38 emeralds. Oh my gosh. He's going to be broke. <laughs> 38 emeralds. That's insane. I think I just got one of Gerald's babies. Hi, huh, Gerald. I have your baby. Nice. I love the look of this. The, like, oak. The oak. Ah, Gerald, I almost just smacked you. Holy, he got all of in my face. If I killed Gerald, I would feel so guilty. Okay, get me out of there. I don't, I don't want to do anything bad. I'm, leave, I'm leaving here. But yeah, I, I love the look of the oak. The oak logs with like oak planks look so nice. So let's see. Um, Is that it for Ducky stuff? I believe Ducky also has some XP farms and stuff, but I'm not sure where they're at. So next on the tour, I guess we're going to check out the Bonsai Brothers massive build. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. And I'm not going to lie. I'm so easily motivated by other people and by competition. And when I saw this build... I wanted to start grinding again. Not again, but even more. Because I, I've been grinding a lot. But I wanted to grind even more to build something absolutely insane like this. Holy, he has so many. He kidnapped so many Endermen. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my goodness. Hang on, let me take my boat so we don't forget that. So I am not going to lie to you guys. I don't even know where to begin here. There's just so much stuff. There's an indoor area. There's an outdoor area. I don't even know where to begin when it comes to looking at all of this. I just heard a villager, I think. Oh my gosh, he's trapped in there. He was kidnapped. There is a baby in here. Bonsai Bros. 
This man has no type of space. Oh my goodness. Set him free. Can we please get a number two in chat or in the comment section, depending on where you're watching this, if you want me to set him free. I feel like we need to set him free. Poor little guy. What the heck? Okay, so let's try to understand what all of this is. This is like a little pathway, it looks like. I, I don't know, guys. I don't even know where to begin. I feel like we're going to have to get the Bonsai Brothers on here to give us a tour at some point because this is a huge build like well, i don't know where to begin is there like bedrooms is this a house or is it a is it gonna be a village are there gonna be houses inside of this wall is this the house i'm confused i am officially bamboozled is there a house is there a bed where do they sleep <laughs> these guys don't sleep they only fight they steal they fight they grief <laughs> they grind but they don't sleep that's for sure. I honestly, I don't even know where to begin with this. I have to be missing something, right? Okay, here's another indoor area. Is this gonna be a house? I really need to get them on. I need to get these guys on and get some explanation here as to what I'm looking at. All right, so it looks like that was the entire thing for the Bonsai Brothers. I know they have more somewhere. I know for a fact they have a little little villager trading hall, but I'm I have no idea where it is. It's in some mountain. I don't know if they're planning on extending. Um, not extending, but moving their villagers over here to this main build. I'm really not too sure. So I'm going to have to follow up with the Bonsai Brothers and see what their game plan is here. So with that being said, I think we'll head over to Kazify and Sid's house. Because I believe Kazify and Sid built right next to each other. So that should be pretty easy to get to. Okay, YouTube. Next up on the tour, we have Sid's house. Sid's so good. So I don't think she's done a whole lot. Won't be too much to show, but she has a little house. It's cute. And I like that it's really close to Kaz as well that's that's awesome i think she's also been working on a little farm area so she has see some chickens cows and i'm not entirely sure what this is oh this must be new i haven't seen this yet i think she has a little underground area with some storage how do you get in here is there an entryway there must be an entrance somewhere let's see ah right here interesting sid with the unique touches we have the glass panes with the wooden fence gate <laughs> and some other interesting touches <laughs> if you go up here we have the nice little upside down staircase because <laughs> you know you have to get a little exercise gotta jump in <laughs> love it this is new i haven't seen this yet so yeah nice looks like she has a little like waterfall area maybe it's gonna be a big aquarium or something and some storage this could be cool. I feel like this will be pretty cool when she finishes. I like it. I like it. It looks awesome. And I love the little touches. <laughs> I love that. So here, super close to Sid's house, <laughs> house, we have Kazify's house, which I believe, according to his YouTube video, is supposed to be the face house. He built it here in Minecraft. So this is also new. I haven't really seen this too much. Uh, I believe this is his giant storage room. That's what it's looking like. I love, I'm not going to lie. One thing that I wish I would have done with my storage room is make the chest like this. You know, Dylan did it like this. Um, Kaz did it like this. And I think it looks super good. It looks really, really, really good. If I could go back, I probably would have done it like this rather than the way that I did it. But I still like mine, but I'm not going to lie. I think this looks a little bit better. It looks awesome. So here. Ooh. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love his basement. It looks like he's also been working on a little villager training hall. That's awesome. Love that. Ooh, he has a bunch down here. Nice. Kat is putting in the work. This is awesome. Dang, his mending is expensive too. My mending emerald or my mending villager is only one emerald. It's crazy. So let's see. Again, I haven't really been around here too much. So give me a moment, guys, trying to figure out where everything's at. Oh, <gasps> what is that? What is that? I've never seen this before. What is this? I think someone in my YouTube comment section was telling me to use this, but I don't know what it is. And this is my first time ever seeing it. Interesting. We also have some more storage here. Maybe this is more of his valuables. I love the sound. This floor, first of all, just looks amazing. And I also love the sound of walking on the amethyst or whatever it's called. It just sounds so nice. Looks like he also has an oxalotl here. Little aquarium. So cute. I love that. And his enchanting room, this looks really nice. And one of my favorite things is that he built a little window in the mountain like this. So you can see out of it. I think that looks incredible. It looks really good. So upstairs in Kaz's house, uh, looks like a little more storage. Nothing crazy. He'll probably change this. Looks like he's been 
put in a lot of work so i'm assuming he'll probably do something different up there eventually too but yeah this is awesome it looks really good so now we're gonna go ahead and uh go in the opposite direction this way and we're gonna head over to Rissa's house i know she's been putting in a lot of work as well so i'm really excited to see what she's built and next up on the tour is Rissa's house what is that noise are those pigs is that a baby pig i don't think i've ever heard a baby pig make noise before for some reason interesting so many pigs <laughs> they're making an interesting noise <laughs> yeah here she has a little barn which looks so cute and also getting brick is a grind you have to get so much clay which is a pain in the butt to mine so kudos to her it looks so good i like it and it looks like this is a little farm nice i like the netherrack looks cute she's got a little farm here as well as some sugar cane and her house i love this modern house she built it looks so cute i think i've seen a little bit of this but i've never i haven't gone in it and seen everything yet but yeah i like that that looks cool Nice. And here looks like her kitchen. She's got some cats. Uh, bedroom? Maybe that's a temporary bedroom. She also has a massive dining room table that looks really good. And the staircase, the staircase is so cute. And I love this like little glass floor here as well. Ooh, nice. Looks like she has a chair, some bookshelves. Very modern. This looks really cool. Let's see. It seems like there's also a basement here as well. Ooh, nice. Everybody's making storage rooms. Dang. Holy, Riss has had some insane progress. She's another player that when she joined Cloudcraft, she had never played Minecraft before. And she went from building just the most basic wooden house at first, like that kind of stuff, you know, very low skill level since it was her first time playing, to now she is like building some insane stuff. This is crazy. She's probably had like some of the best progression on this. The server you know out of all the members that are new i'm not gonna lie i think Chris <laughs> might have been grinding the most this looks amazing this is so cool nice i don't know if there's anything more i was trying to wander around a little bit to see if i missed anything because sometimes there's another staircase or something that we may have missed but i think this might be it but this is awesome i really like that okay so i think is that it for Rissa's stuff Ooh, she built some nether wart over here that's smart and the wart is very important for potions so it's smart to have that oh she has a beehive oh my gosh i'm jealous i need a beehive i've been eating so much beeswax but i don't have any oh i think this is her villager she has one villager i think it's a mending villager and she keeps him in there but yeah this is awesome it looks so good Riss. i really like everything you've been building so next up on the trip i want to go to my little brother's house but he's super far away so we're gonna save that for last i feel bad because he's been grinding a ton and his stuff looks incredible so i want to show it like sooner rather than later but it's pretty far away so i'm gonna wait um until last because i have to go pretty far to, to see his stuff so next on the tour we're gonna head over to milo and bewitching's house houses sorry they don't live together milo's house <laughs> and bewitching's house i think they're pretty close together so okay so here is milo's house he's been working a lot as well and this is the first house that he's built which is a super cool one i think he's going for a modern mansion type vibe let me get rid of this intruder uh so i don't think he's furnished the inside yet so there's not going to be too much to look at but he has a little fireplace here <laughs> i think guys you gotta let milo know that you can use a campfire because he put down some netherrack and a fire because he didn't know that you could use a campfire and he actually set his house on fire <laughs> so definitely let him know in the comment section of his video if you guys check it out that you can use a campfire instead of netherrack and flint and steel so that there's no risk of like his house catching on fire yeah this looks awesome so far i really like the birch i feel like nobody chooses to build out a birch so i'm really happy that milo did i think this looks so good but i did leave him a gift i don't think he's been on i left him this gift a long time ago and he hasn't been on but basically um i saw that he was having a really tough time with fall damage he doesn't really have a lot of amazing gear and so i was like you know what maybe i'll go and I'll leave milo a gift so i gave him diamond boots and an enchanted book with feather falling four mending unbreaking three and protection four and a little book to read um explaining the gift <laughs> but he hasn't got it yet so you guys gotta tell him to get back on so he can get my gift yeah it looks good so far i really like the house milo it looks awesome so i guess now we will head over to my little brother's house and then we just need bewitching and miss pickle Alrighty, so next up on the tour is my little brother cuke is the bear's house so i brought in my little brother to the smp and i just absolutely knew that he would be a grinder and he did not disappoint let me tell you i am constantly amazed by what he builds i come back and every day there's something new like i feel like he is arguably one of the biggest grinders of all time so it looks like he's a huge wheat farm which is cool with a path in the middle this was not here last time i stopped by he also has this barn made out of basalt and stone brick which i think just looks amazing 
he has a little, um, I almost said a cowboy. Hey, <laughs> uh, what are they called? Donkey. A donkey named Philip. And this is Go Team Red because my little brother is on the same team as me for the Netherite race, which is Red Team. And I think this looks awesome. You know, it's, it's also not like your traditional take on a barn. Like most people just build like wood barns or red barns. But he built a stone barn and a basalt barn. And I think it looks awesome. It looks so good. So here, this is a, what he built on day number one. And I think this kind of just speaks for how much of a grinder is grinder he is. But he built this entire little like bridge and this open area that goes over the water. And I think, again, this just looks incredible. It looks so awesome. Why? What did he do to this? What kind of sorcery is this? Why am I going so fast? Quinn, why am I moving so quick? What did you do? He's, listen, I'm like a Minecraft grinder. I like to build, but he is like a Minecraft pro. <laughs> like when it comes to the complicated stuff, like redstone, where I do not really excel, that's where he knows it all. Like he's, that's his area of expertise. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I'm going so quick. But it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not surprised because Quinn has all of the coolest stuff of all time in Minecraft. <laughs> so here is this massive tree that he built, which again, this looks incredible. And this, hello, this looks amazing. This bridge and this tree just looks so good. He built this block by block because he wanted to build like a giant tree way bigger than you know the typical trees that would spawn in in minecraft and these floating lights Mwah! chef's kiss this is just insane looks awesome so let's go ahead and go into his house let me show you something cool though so here is a secret door that leads into his house that he built with redstone so it's, it's not really secret because you can kind of see it but it is it is like secret in a certain sense because you have to press a lever for it to open up Oh, there's another lever for it. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I think that is awesome. And then, yet again, one of the coolest things that I did not... What is this? What is this? Is this a trap? Quinn! Quinn! I am not going to be Punisher 2.0 and fall into this hole. I am putting this wood here <laughs> for further until further notice. Because I am not trying to fall down and die like Punisher did when he did a tour of the Cloudcraft SMP. <laughs> So here, again, something that I did not even know you could do in Minecraft, because I enjoy building houses, he enjoys doing genius things with redstone. And this is a automatic sorter. So let me, if Punisher figured it out, I can figure it out. I don't even know where this thing begins. It's just huge. I will figure it out. You know, Punisher, he figured it out. I can figure it out. If Punisher did it, I can do it. I think it starts, I don't even know, where even am I? Oh, apparently this isn't the beginning. The beginning is on the second floor. This is the third floor. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that is. I'm scared to go in that. I know there is an elevator somewhere. This. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Where am I? Okay, well, that, maybe that was the fourth floor, third, second. I don't know. This is confusing. Okay, so here's another floor. I don't know where I am. This place is massive. So another cool thing about his house is he has these lights. These redstone lights that are activated by a lever, which is, again, incredible. Looks like he's got a little bunk bed here, little balcony area, little porch. Did he have a baby goat? I hear a goat and it sounds like, it sounds like a baby somewhere. Hmm. Why is there a chicken? Why is this chicken in here? <gasps> Hello, let him go. What is it? <gasps> this chicken is trapped. What is up with the Cloudcraft SMP members trapping poor innocent creatures? Oh, this is also another chest room. This was the beginning of his house. Uh, so let's see. Let's see if I can figure out how to get down to the second or the first floor of his little area here. So this, there's a elevator, but I'm taking the stairs, I guess. No, no. I wanted to go down. Gwen, your stuff is too complicated for a redstone rookie like myself. I'm not sure how to get down stairs, bro. Is this it? Is this the beginning of it? Is this the floor? Oh, maybe this. This is it. <laughs> I found it. Okay, it looks like this is the beginning, I think. So let's put this and the side up here in this chest. Okay, and now we watch the magic happen. Look! I did not know that you could even do this. Like, Quinn is a Minecraft magician. I don't even know. See, his area is so big, I don't even know where to go. Have I seen everything? I don't know. You may never know because his, he just says you think it's over, but then there's more. But see, there's more right here. And oh, wait. Oh, okay. I've been here. I'm not going down there. I'm not going to be. Okay, so I think we saw everything inside. I know he has another portal in here somewhere, but I'm going to go back outside. So I know he also. So Ducky has farms. I didn't see Ducky's farms. I don't know where they are. But here, my little brother is right here. 
So it looks like he has some sort of XP farms. Let's see, where's the pathway over here? This is insane. This is awesome. I'm going so fast again. It's motion blur. I can't even see. Oh, is it the beacon? Oh my gosh, he has a beacon. Wow. Nice, QQ. Looks like he also has a sheep farm. No mind if I do. Can I snag some of these? Would you mind, QQ? <laughs> I'm going so quick. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. So I think this is an XP farm. I don't know what all of this is. I don't build this kind of stuff. I'm not going to lie. I, I, what is this? Potatoes? I don't know. Oh, are these guys working for him? These are his employees? Boy, this man's got some employees. I, I don't know what this is. This is... <gasps> there is employees how did you get these guys <laughs> oh my goodness what the heck holy crap what's in here dude why can't i enter oh oh my gosh this is where they make babies let me get out of there so i'm gonna leave before i destroy something because i'm scared i don't want to ruin anything this looks incredible quinn you never cease to amaze me Again, if you guys want to check out any of the builds or any of the YouTube videos from all of these creators, links for them are going to be in the description down below. Second to last stop on the Cloudcraft SMP tier, guys, is Bewitching's house. And she's a relatively new member, but she's still got a lot of stuff done. And she is hands down, again, one of my favorite builds or has one of my favorite builds. So the first thing that I want to show you guys that blew my mind when i saw it is this panda exhibit i've never seen a panda before but she has a panda named poe and you can feed him she has bamboo here and you can feed him and he eats it and i i literally guys i've been playing minecraft basically since the game came out i played like i said pocket edition uh on the xbox 360 and um up until today and i know pandas are relatively new but still i've never seen one before i've never seen one in video i've never seen one in game i just never i've never seen a minecraft panda and i was casually just walking to see uh glancing around to see what bewitching built and i stumbled across this panda and my mind was blown it is so cute and the exhibit that she built is adorable she has like little glow berries like a little pool for the panda all this bamboo i love it it is so nice and then also you might recognize these plants i copied these from her <laughs> like i said i tried to mostly have original ideas but i saw these and i was like that is so cute and i thought it was like a nice way to kind of switch up the um the landscaping that i typically do because i either just always use the same thing you know flowers grass so i decided to to uh take that concept and add it to my my builds as well <gasps> okay i'm not gonna go in there <laughs> It looks like she's still pretty new. Like I said, she was one of the most recent, or probably the most recent, actually, member to join along with Autumn. And so she hasn't had, like, a ton of time to build yet. But, yeah, I'm not going to explore that just because I really do not want to blow up her house. I would feel so bad. But yeah, she's doing an amazing job. I think everything looks so good. And her panda is adorable. It's so, so, so cute. So, last but not least, on the Clockcraft SMP tier, guys, we're going to stop at Miss Pickled's builds. So, I have just been alerted where her house is um so it's a haul we're i think we're gonna have to go to the nether but we're going to make our way over to see what she's been working on since she joined i'm excited i know miss fickle makes some really awesome builds and i have not seen anything that she's built so far Ooh, nice see i'm already amazed this is awesome this is so cool so it looks like this is her storage room and a little like potion room nice she has barrels above for the potion ingredients but yeah this is awesome this looks so good she's just an amazing builder honestly she builds some really cool stuff so it looks like this is her house and miss pickle is also she's really new as well to the smp not not as new as bewitching but still very 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 new so she hasn't had a ton of time to build as well um especially considering she's been grinding in the netherite race and she's built stuff at spawn as well so she's still got a ton done considering that nice this is her kitchen looks cute like it looks like she has a little couch as well this looks awesome i like when people build stuff that's different from me because like i never build couches like this but this looks so good so it's interesting to see how other people build the same type of structure but put like their own little twist on it nice she has a bed here a little balcony nice this is so cute i really like this i love looking at people's minecraft builds and these glowberries i need some of these this looks awesome she has a little waterfall looks like this is the staircase that goes down to her strip mine and tons of sugarcane of course yeah i'm guessing this is it for miss pickle is there something over here 
Let's see, what are these tall things? I don't want to miss anything. Oh, she's at a village. Is she at a village? I think she built on a village. <gasps> I've been here before. I've definitely been here before. What the heck? What is this? What in the world is this? Who built this? What is this? What in tarnation? What is this? <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what that is. All right, is that is that everything for Miss Pickles? Am I missing anything? I don't want to miss anything. This is nice. I like this. That looks so good. I like the support beams. That looks incredible. Yeah, I think that's it for everything over at Miss Pickles' house. Again, it looks amazing. She's such a good builder, and I'm so excited to see what she builds on the Cloudcraft SMP in the future. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is going to be it for the Cloudcraft SMP tour with yours truly, Maddie Neff. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited to see what all of us in the Cloudcraft SMP build in the future. And as always, if you guys did enjoy, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like here on my video and also subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.